to the Colney University Drama Society's presentation of The Murder at Havasham Manor! Hey, Chris. Mikhail. Oh, it's good to meet you. Yeah, you too, uh, finally. Yeah, <laughs> finally, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I guess we should just get started. This is, this is such an amazing opportunity. Um, so What's On Stage and Theatre Mania uh, have brought us together uh, and I play Chris Bean on the West End in London. Chris, you play Chris Bean uh, in New York in mm -hmm. the play that goes wrong. Uh, and, and it's such a brilliant collaboration and I'm delighted to be here, delighted to meet you finally uh, and, and ask you these three burning questions, which I'm really excited to hear your take on. Um, yeah, I'm excited uh, yeah. to hear the questions. <laughs> I've got a few for you. I feel like we'll we'll connect after this as well and like ask another 10, 20, 30 questions. <laughs> Actually, I feel like, yeah, once we get started, we'll never stop because Chris is so, so fun to play, isn't he? Um, <laughs> oh, so fun. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, sometimes. Sometimes it's miserable. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. So, first question. Uh, have you ever corpsed on stage playing Chris <laughs> Bean? And if you have, what's the funniest scorps you've ever had? Man, Chris Bean is the worst character to, to laugh on stage as 100%. I mean, he, he, <laughs> none of this is funny to him. Um, yeah, exactly. The problem, it's all stupid things, isn't it? When that happens, I feel like you're never like one huge, this is hilarious. I find those, the big funny moments aren't the ones that make me laugh. It's like mm. the tiny little things that, that end up making things. me laugh. Um, yeah. There was there was one uh, recently um, at, at the end of the show. You, I mean, you, you like you do it the same. Obviously, you throw the keys to to Robert uh, yep. to to handcuff um, Perkins. Um, spoiler. Um, and uh, <laughs> one day, for some reason, I threw him instead of throwing them direct to him. I gave him like a slow, long, high toss of those keys. And as soon as I did it, I, I immediately, I was like, oh, this is <laughs> going to be a problem. But the yeah. sides of my mouth started going. I saw his <laughs> eyes go, what are you, why do you do that? Um, yeah. and, and that's, that got me. Um, yeah. The old Chris Bean once, uh, the guy who played the role before me, once pulled a, the gun out of his pocket and uh, a Ricola, like a, a candy wrapper came out with no it. No way, I never got it. <laughs> the whole, the, everyone went. The reason I'm asking was like the other day, because uh, as it gets closer to the weekend, you're doing four show weekends and you're absolutely knackered. It's oh always my. in the last yeah. 10 pages mm -hmm. uh, when, you know, it's the home stretch. Chris can't go. Chris is the only character and it's, you know, it is a comedy, but he's not allowed to sort of let himself go. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the guy playing Robert, uh, the line was, um, I am the inspector's accomplice. Yeah. Except he went, I am the inspector's apprentice. And <laughs> all of us, all of us on stage just could not hold it together, which is why that was the first question that came to mind because it just happened on Sunday. <laughs> All right, um, my turn. Go on. <laughs> um, okay, I have three. I'm going to pick, uh, let's see, which one? Um, so I was actually, I was in London recently. I, I missed you, sadly, um, but I did uh, head over to the Duchess and, uh, oh, hello, cat, and, <laughs> um, and see the, the front of the theatre. And I see you've got that bit, uh, Tom Cruise does not appear in this show, right? Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got, we've got Tom Cruise will not be appearing at this performance yeah, and everyone yeah. thinks that's absolutely hilarious. It got me thinking, if you were to cast the show with celebrities, who who would you put in each role? Oh, that's a very, that's a very good question. Um, <laughs> oh, but, oh, I think I think Dennis, Dennis, uh, Rowan Atkinson as Dennis would be hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I might need your help on this. Uh, I had really, Danny really, DeVito Dan in my mind for him. Danny would DeVito be... <laughs> would be amazing as well. Uh, I thought um, Ryan Reynolds as Max, maybe. Oh, uh, I yes. don't know. I mean, I know, I know. I've got, I've got some American names going. You know who would be amazing as Chris, and perhaps a slightly eccentric Chris, but Richard E. Grant from Whitnail and I. Yeah, uh, I think I think you know way back when, not Richard E. e. Grant today, but I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was thinking maybe Richard E. Grant. Uh, it's tough, ooh, isn't it? It is very hard. <laughs> uh, Lenny Henry as Robert, maybe. Oh yeah. yeah, oh I'd love do you that. Reckon? 
<laughs> That'd yeah. be cool. Um, you know, would be great as Florence. I don't. Know. Have you watched The Good Place? Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you know Jamila Jamil? Yeah. Uh, her character Tahani, who's this Brit, you know, the, this very posh British yeah. uh, woman who's, you know, a bit floaty. Oh, she'd be and, perfect. And away with, she'd be great, actually. Uh, <laughs> God, I'm stuck. I don't know who'd be a, a good Trevor. What about Seth Rogen or someone like? Or oh, like, yeah. Uh, maybe he's, but, yeah. You think Seth Rogen might, yeah. might work as Trevor? Yeah, he'd play it well. I'd love to see uh, it. <laughs> That'd be some great stunt casting and get 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 the audiences in to see Seth Rogen as uh, as, as, as Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Right. My next question to you is: If you could play anyone, uh, mm. anyone else in, in in any other character in the show, who would it who would it be? Hmm. Okay. All right. I mean, ah, oh, there's so many. I, as soon as Jonathan I as soon as I settle on one, I'm like, but then there's Max, <laughs> mm. <laughs> like I, I, Max just seems to have that. You get that relationship with the audience in a way that a lot of the other characters don't. I suppose, don't. like as yeah. Chris, you have that relationship, but you're generally pretty angry at them the whole time. Exactly. Uh, as Jonathan, you get it because you're trapped on stage and you you kind of have the audience as your scene partner a lot, which is interesting. Hundred percent. Yeah. But then Max gets to wave and smile and jump around and be silly and. Um, Absolutely. So one of the hardest things for me as Chris is that constraint of the audience. Is that kind of wanted? All these things are going wrong, but the audience is what's keeping him from showing too much of it. In Absolutely. A big way. Absolutely. Max would be a nice um, kind of, of a cathartic kind of thing to just be oh, able 100%. to just acknowledge the audience the whole time. Do you have any traditions that have built up around the West End uh, production? I'm kind of asking that, like, obviously there have been previous casts and it's been there a long time, um, but you build your own traditions as well as a, as a new company. Um, so are, are there any things you happen to do in any moments in the show, every night, backstage, uh, before, the, you know, that, that, that kind of thing? That's, the first thing that comes to mind is patty ball. I don't know if you guys have ever played patty ball. No. Uh, but patty ball, we inherited from the previous cast. And it's a game we play every day yeah. during warm up. And we take very, very, I think we're the cast that takes it very, very seriously. The most serious uh, of the lot, I think. Right. Uh, and if there was ever a, a patty ball championship, I think our cast would, would definitely win. Uh, because we're, we've got some real talent. <laughs> and all of us, you know. Jack, uh, Stuart, mm -hmm. uh, Emily. Jack's got the height. Jack's got the height. So, how, do you know how bat batty ball works? I don't. I imagine it's it's keeping something in the it's, air. Yeah, it's for, basically yeah. Keepy, it's keepy uppies, um, right. but over a net, and there's like this long chain on stage. Yeah. yeah. So between the stalls and the stage, so you have a team uh -huh. that plays on stage, four people on stage, and the rest in the stalls, um, and basically you have to have it's like three and over, uh, but and you play with points, so. Um, so yeah, it's really, really fun. And it kind of gets your reflexes and your focus yeah. in the game. Um, and it's a, it's a real, like, I think we, we, that's one thing we're all really gonna miss as a cast and a company. Yeah. Because it like, we have, we have such fun before every show. And the other thing is I play some shadow cricket. I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge cricketer. So oh, um, I play some, oh really? I love cricket. I mean, I, over oh, here I haven't played for years, but. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, you must really miss it. Yeah, so I, just that, you know, because you have that moment between the opening monologue and then you come back as Carter. There's a little bit of time, and I sort of stand in front of the mirror and like sort of drive, yeah. like do cover drives, and like you know, in, <laughs> just like. <laughs> you, well, you've seen our version of the show because uh, you you saw Jack and you saw everyone. Yes. Yeah, when yes. I was off, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure you probably noticed little differences, I suppose. Oh, the, uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, on the way yeah. up, on the way down to London, I was like, maybe, you know, ooh, maybe uh, if something happens, uh, I think there were a lot of uh, <laughs> moving parts that day. In fact, I think somebody right. made a yeah, 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 in a yeah, role. Yeah. We had, there was a Denise and I was That's like, right. hey, maybe, oh, wow. maybe I need to step in, be the hero. <laughs> and I watched the show. I was like, thank goodness I didn't have to step in because there are the, the differences are quite profound, some of them, which is was really right. interesting to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it is. It is quite a different show from what I gather. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah.
It's the same thing as sitting in the stands in the football, watching the football and thinking, oh, maybe someone will get injured and they'll need to drag me onto the pitch. And <laughs> <I don't know laughs> yeah. did that as a kid. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <with> <laughs> absolutely. With the cricket, 100%. Come in yeah. and save the day. Yeah. Yeah. Be the hero. Yeah, 100%. Yeah! Do you have any uh, dressing room, like must have dressing room items, things you keep in your dressing room uh, for this show specifically or for like other shows um, that you've done? Something you have to have with you? Uh, coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, I have my AeroPress. I'm, I'm a bit of a coffee snob. I love an AeroPress. Uh, I yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's quite useful, actually. Yeah. Uh, nice and quick. And, Nice and quick, and you know you get a decent cuppa yeah. before before Not the show. Brewing time. Ooh, yeah, like... yeah. We... Cut this out. Yeah, We've got a promo for same. AeroPress. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah, literally. And, <laughs> and feel free to give us residuals from it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, air, a coffee, uh, and then a Lucasade on the weekends. I think four show weekends are brutal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you, what's your version, a Gatorade or a Powerade or something. Yeah, I, I guess don't know. a Gatorade or Powerade. I often have little uh, electrolyte powders that I can put in my water that I take backstage oh, with me. Getting that much more healthy. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not as much sugar, I suppose. I mean, it would be great to be on stage at some point with you, Chris. I mean, I'm oh, sure I'd I, love that. I, I'm sure our parts will cross, but like, yeah. yeah. And and if I'm ever in New York, I'd love to see you and all of, oh, all of the New York. Please, if you're ever like, in New York, yeah. let me know. Yeah, definitely. Mikhail, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. I'm so glad we got brought together to uh, to talk about the role, talk about the show. Uh, it's been really great talking with you. Likewise, Chris, it's been such a pleasure and so lovely to meet Storm as well. She's <laughs> yeah. obviously, yeah, it's the center of the of the attention as well. She loves to be in the, in the <laughs> yeah, spotlight. Yeah, she loves it. She, she wanted to be seen today. Um, yeah, but it's been really, really lovely and hopefully we'll keep in touch. And, of you know, course it was will. so fun chatting. And thanks to Theatre Mania and What's On Stage for bringing us together. It's been great. And, um, you know, if you're in London, if you're in New York, uh, head to the Duchess, head to New World Stages uh, and uh, come see... Uh, us in the play that goes wrong. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's one other thing. I'm curious if you have this. Um, on the upper level entrance, uh, up yeah. those stairs. Sorry about the cat. <laughs> no, what's the cat called? Sorry, this I didn't even Storm. do the introduction for the cat. Oh. Uh, Storm. Yeah, this is Storm. She's... Uh, She's always sat next to me. She sits usually on this log here next to me while I'm working on my computer. Oh, she's um, lovely. She's great. Yeah. Oh, censor that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we did. I'm sorry. We, okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm just trying to keep its bum yeah, from okay. showing. <laughs> <laughs>